Hi, everyone. Welcome to Beacons of Balance. We're here today for a new episode, which is wonderful. And Beacons of Balance, of course, is all about balance. We live in a world of duality, and we're here to share with you some pearls from ourselves and then from other guest speakers that we bring on. I'm Arlene, and this is my wonderful compadre, my co-host, Joanne. Hi, so, everyone. You know, Hi, R. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. Yeah. Another episode of I know. I know. This is ours. <laughs> wow. So... What are we speaking about today, Jillian? I'll tell you, Ar, I am super excited about today's show because this is going to help so many people. You know, our whole, the whole reason we're doing this is to bring people up to raise their vibrations, to get this world back in balance. And when you find out who you truly are, when you come into this world, it's going to make a lot of, it's going to make a lot of sense. You know, sometimes we try to be someone that we're not, and that's what this show is about I today. So we're going to talk about archetypes, which is a very fun and interesting topic. It's one of my favorite. I've been teaching this for 30, 40 years. So what is an archetype? An archetype, it actually came from the Greek word, uh, first mold. So it's like when you're born, you have almost like a personality that you could bring in from another lifetime. This has nothing to do with your favorite color. It has nothing to do with your aura because that all changes, as you know, right, Arlene? Aura changes. Well, does this have anything to do with the rainbow? Because oh. I would think we're all colors, right? Because we're also diversified. And I know that your husband, John, always says that we're plaid because we're a mix. My husband. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, he's the one who got to see it to believe it, okay? Um, he said, don't give me those colors. He goes, I'm plaid. And I'm like, yes, we are all <laughs> these different colors. At some point in life, we radiate certain colors. So here's an example. You know, I ran conferences for 25 years. And, you know, you're going to find that, you know, stay tuned, go all the way to the end because you don't want to miss any of this, guys. Um, you're going to find that certain personality types make better bookkeepers. Okay. Certain personality types make better leaders in the world. And can we all be those? Of course we can. Arlene, when you were running your angel shop, you know you had to keep track of bookkeeping to pay your vendors. You That's had why to... I'm not there anymore. <laughs> right. Uh, so, yes, you were different personalities and you radiated different colors, you know, archetypes. But is that something you would always want to do, Arlene? Do you think you'd always want to be playing with bookkeeping and keeping track um, of numbers? No. Hell no. You and I, Thelma and Louise, we'd have rather been like out there just boogieing in your car. And going to different conferences and just having a blast, right? Yeah. So, and yeah, I had to take care of bookkeeping to pay all my speakers. But do you think I'd want to do that as a living? No, no. not a chance. So you asked if this had anything to do with the rainbow. Well, yes. Uh, think of the rainbow. You know, think of the colors on the rainbow. You start with red and then orange, yellow, uh, and then green. And you've got purple, I have a blue, and then purple and violet. So we're going to take those in this order. I figure that will keep it organized. So the first color uh, archetype, and again, this has nothing to do with your favorite clothes, has nothing to do with your aura, because you know, Arlene, we've been enough, uh, enough of these shows where they do those aura photos. Yep. And depending on what mood you're in that day, that aura changes, right? Ex well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're in a bad mood? Or it does change. It could be a different color. They even had those silly mood rings back in the 60s. Remember they would change color, I just think? Uh -huh. Yep. So this is more, think of it as your, who you are, your soul imprint, your personality. Um, and when you understand this, you're going to realize what people you get along better with, what jobs or what your life cycle is better at. No, I don't want to be resonate with. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, what does your heart resonate with? That's what this is all about. So I think this is going to help a lot of people, Arlene. So let's look at the reds. Now, there is an angel associated with these. There is a day of the week. There is a note that you radiate. Um, and we're going to try to cover them all. So the red, the angel is Tamiel. Very powerful angel. 
Now, the Reds, I see as leaders. These are the leaders in the world, directors. So if you're starting a corporation, do you think you'd want a yellow doubter for your president or your director? No, you want someone who can take charge. And the cool thing about a red, they know how to disseminate the information. Sally, I want this report on my desk by five o'clock or else. They know how to give directions. Okay, no ifs, ands, or buts. I want that report by five o'clock. So you want a leader in your corporation. If you were having a party, the red would probably say, R, I need more cups. Arlene, there's not enough chairs in there. Go get the chair. They always are directing, always are directing. So I thought that'd be fun because I'm an artist. I've painted a lot of these angels and they'll give you a better idea of what they look like. So here is Kamiel. If that is showing up on there. Yeah, I could see it. You can see it? Okay, yeah, so beautiful. And I Remember love when I told you so there's huge. also stone associated with these colors? Well, this stone for Kamiel is the ruby. Now, if you saw the original of this painting, there is an actual real ruby in her hair in the painting. Now, her special day is Sunday, and the note she radiates is G. So I thought that's pretty cool. Now, the other fun thing about archetypes, Arlene, you know we're not all perfect, right? Because Except if we were us. perfect little angels, <laughs> we sure as heck wouldn't be here in Earth School, right? The place you come here to learn and, and teach lessons. Right. right. So we call them, you have a gift side and a trap side. So the gift side of a red is they are beautiful um, leaders in the world and they lead people to wisdom. That's key. They lead others to wisdom. In their trap side, they can be a little bossy. I mean, think of uh, one of your bosses from work who is a red and you wanted a, a day off and she's, no, no, no days off. You show up or else you're fired. We've all been there. We've had those bosses, right? Oh, not, really? Oh, oh, yeah. But they get the job done, don't they? Yeah. They get the job done. So, all right. Do you have any other questions about reds are? Because this is fun. Anything, uh, you know, we... Can you interject? Yeah. This is, oh, it's great. We're free. We're free flying today. We're having fun. <laughs> we're having oh. fun, right? So from red, then we go into, well, you know, I want to interject something. Is this kind of like with our chakras also? Because chakras are related to our colors. Well, no, because that is the energy centers in your body. And of course, the red right. we associate with the root chakra. You know, yeah. that's all about who am I? Who's going to, who's going to take care of me if I fall? You know, that's who you are. That's yeah, but it's interesting how the colors are. The colors are. It is very are so important in our world. People have to understand this. We are colors. Look at look at outside and the sky and clouds, and exactly. just like music, our notes, our tone, our voice box is sacred geometry inside. You know, so that's just. Oh, come on. I'm not going to go off track here, but anyways, it's, it's but something. you know another interesting thing about these colors are there's seven, and seven yeah. in numerals is considered a sacred God number. Yeah. I mean, think about it, Dar. Think of all the things you could think that has a seven attached to it. Seven days in a week, seven right. base chakras, although we know there's many more chakras. Yeah. There's seven C's, seven virtues. Oh my gosh, it's just seven days it's in the week. It's kind of like the core. It's kind of like the core right. of anything, like the core of an apple, the core, you know, your artichoke heart, you know, the core. So sure. Okay, so exactly. let's move, so we'll move on. So the next color that I have here is orange, and these are very outgoing people who have the gift of talking. Okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> they can sometimes make promises in their <laughs> excitement to spread the word. We call them the hummingbirds um, in life because they flint from flower to flower. Yes. They want wanting the nectar. <laughs> We could, we could relate this to men also now. <laughs> so like the like the hummingbirds in life, they flip from project to project, right? Yeah. Um, seeking out what makes them the happiest. But in uh, doing so, they can become easily distracted because they're oh. going from, from one to the other to the other to the other. Kind of get, maybe they get bored a little bit. Right. Um, if we were starting a corporation... Um, we'd want the orange for um, to be our 
advertisers and our promoters, yep. right? Um, yep. The oranges, they promise to get you on TV, but I take it with a grain of salt because along the way, um, they get they get maybe maybe very distracted along the way to help somebody else out with their advertising and their business. Exactly. <laughs> That's happened many times to me. You know, you could be in a restaurant having lunch, and oh my god, we got to get you on the Oprah Winfrey. That's when the Oprah had her show, and then she right. goes out to the parking lot and sees somebody else, and totally distracted. I Once know a- you get so excited about that, right? So, so the archangel related with this color is Zaphiel, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Right? Zaphiel. Zaphiel. Yeah. Zaphiel. Um, this archangel is pure joy, pure joy, just filled with joy. So if you're feeling down and low, call on this angel um, to bring you up and lift you up. And um, what else? The uh, the orange, there's a stone for the orange color, and that's orange sapphire and or orange calcite or carnelian, right? right. And mm-hmm. the musical note is E, and their day of the week is a Monday. Right. Now, here's a here's a carnelian, everybody. Yeah. What carnelian looks like. And the stone for the red is the ruby. I've got a huge honker here. This is a, a rough cut. Huh? That's a ruby? It's a rough, yeah. That's a rough, that's before it's been polished. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it looks Pretty different. Cool. Pretty cool. If I was going to paint an angel that radiated orange, I would be my goddess because she is all about, get your butt going, girl. You got work to do. <laughs> they do have a sense of humor in them. <laughs> so, all right. Is there anything you want to add about orange? Um, They're the party animals. <laughs> if we were having a party, Arlene, I like the orange would say, hey, let's get out of all the games. Come on, let's go. You know, they're all about the games. Yeah. No. Well, hiding behind the palm tree. Oh, God, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I hate getting up in front of it, like when they do the charades. I'm like, oh, God, again. Uh, what- really? Yeah, you got to act it. Anything where you have to act it out, that's an orange. Yeah. When does the party start? <laughs> and we have a we have a saying about the oranges, Arlene. If you put duct tape over their mouth, they'll explode. Oh, that's <laughs> they, funny. It, they, they have to talk all the time. But yeah. the jokers. All that's- right, and then the next color on the rainbow are the yellows. These are interesting people. Uh, if you were starting a corporation, these are the researchers in life, Arlene. They mm-hmm. have an inquisitive mind that never stops. So if you were starting a corporation, wouldn't wouldn't it make sense that you'd want the, the yellows to be your researchers? Sure. What are your like if you were starting your angel store, you would probably hire a yellow to find out, okay, I want to know all the other angel stores in Connecticut. I want to know where they're located. Are they too close to me? What's going on? What are they offering? Know your competition, right? First thing in business, know your competition. Now, I told you we all have a gift side and a trap side. So the trap side of a yellow, they can be their own worst enemy. I call them the doubting Thomases in life. Oh my God, we all know those, right? This is fun. When, When Arlene and I are going through these colors, think of the people in your life that resonated. I could. I could say names, but I'm not going to. <laughs> We're not going to. Yeah, we don't want to get in trouble. But um, I've had yellows come to, you know, because I, I I'm a life coach, and they'll be crying their eyes out. And it's like, I'm not good enough. I'll never amount to anything. Or some will call me on the phone and say, you know, I really want to have a session with you, Joanne. But do you think I could interview like five people that came to you in the past? <laughs> because they're just not sure, right? You, right. You've all known those, right, Arlene? Yep. The people that just, they second guess themselves. But their gift side is freaking amazing. If I was taking a, a if, if we were taking a, a yellow to one of the spiritual conferences, Arlene, they're the ones that would say, they're looking, you know, because we've been to conferences where there's like, you know, 20 speakers, right? They're the ones who are the BS detectors. They know who's bullshitting. 
and who's doing this just to jump on the spiritual bandwagon. So, so they've got an inner BS detector, which is pretty cool when you think about it, right? Now, I've drawn, and this is, this is the one that represents the yellows, Gabriel, and they just radiate all this beautiful yellow light. Now, Gabriel is the angel that, that resonates with this color. And the stones are yellow calcite, yellow topaz, and yellow sapphire. Now, let's see if I have one of those here. I can show you. I don't know if that shows up or not. You can see it. Bring it a little close. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Yep. I've got some yellow topaz. Because I used to like, I'm really, you and I are both rock cones. We we like our stones early. We like right? our stones. We're blingers. Love our stones. <laughs> Got to have the stones. No. So they're, um, the ra the note that they radiate is uh, D, and their lucky or day of the week that they resonate to is Tuesday. So that's Gabriel. And they're fun people. They really are. But they can get pretty serious. Like I said, they are all about finding the research. They mm -hmm. will have books and journals on who's doing what, when, where. Oh my gosh. To me, that would drive me bananas. I would probably drive you bananas too, Arlene, right? Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> we just most of the time we just fly by the seat of our pants, right? Or we just go. We go with it. <laughs> we just go with the flow. I mean that's yeah. what it's all about. Hey. If we you know, like I said, life is too short. That's for darn sure. It's oh. good. Yeah. You have to savor each minute. And that old saying is take time to smell the roses. I know. You know? It's like, you know. So Arlene, if we were having a party, what, what do you think the yellow would be doing at the party? At a party? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah they'd be going around the crowd and uh, coming back to you and telling, hey, this one is like, forget it. <laughs> Arlene, do you think we should be here? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Did you taste that punch? I I don't know. There might be something in that punch early enough. Done. I don't know. Did you taste it? No, you taste it first. <laughs> so the next one we're going on to is green. Oh, look, I like color green. And this is the center of the rainbow. So yes. it's very balanced, which is good for our show, right? It's about balance. So we are all about balance. It's a good one to have. Um, they're all good. Um, let's see. So they are seen as the fixers and the healers in life. They like to fix things. They right. are the first to jump in and repair anything broken <laughs> or make oh. sure that their checking books are in balance to the penny. So if you ever wanted, if you thought you're with a green, what would be the first question you would ask them? One of the questions you would ask them would be, is your checking book in balance? <laughs> and then they'd start going, oh my God, is it? Oh my God. Is it? And if it, it is, they stay up at night until the last penny is accounted for, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, yeah, they would stay up all night and watch that. Um, hmm. But their their traps could be as they want to be um, where the, the power is. Almost, and you could think about who's in power. A lot of people that are in power, of course, are doctors and dentists, things like that, right? Right. Um, and they're healers. Healers is you know those egos, the attribute. Yeah, exactly. Like but, they think they're God at one point, but um, they are. But in reality, we're all fixers, right? Because we all try to fix things and exactly better in that, right? But yeah. if you're starting a corporation, um. And, you know, you need a bookkeeper and an accountant, right? Not mm -hmm. the area that we <laughs> we are great. In. Yeah. They would be the ones that you'd be looking for to bring along with you, right? To have you um, take care of all those details for right. you. Right. Because they have their debits and their credits are always in balance, correct? So um, balance, balance, and more balance. Because they're the center of the rainbow, are 
the centers of the rainbow, right? And they, 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 are, have they are the color that's in the middle of the rainbow. Right. And they are um, the healers and the fixers, you know? Right. So Now, my husband, I got to tell you this funny story, Art. Well, then. Uh, you know those long lighters that you light your fireplace with? Yes. Well, I picked up one and it, I clicked on it and it wasn't working. So I threw it out. <laughs> my husband came home. My God, I thought he was going to have a freaking heart attack. <laughs> That was a trophy. We just it just needed fuel. That is but, so funny. Six bucks. That's so <laughs> funny. Yeah, how much is it? So they will dumpster dive, you know. I mean, they're always about fixing. I cannot hire anybody to do anything in my house because my husband has to do it. He's a perfectionist. It'll be gorgeous, but it might take a long time. But yeah, they're all about perfection. And um the green angel is Raphael. Right, yeah, I didn't get to that. I, yes, Raphael. Their love is Raphael. And he also is the one that you call in when you need healing and balance in your life. I love that one, Joey. I have Joanne's yeah. work is beautiful. And, you know, just for everybody out there, contact Joanne. Her information's on our website and that for all her artwork in this. I have this and I've had it since day one when she created this. I have it in my bedroom looks over us as we're sleeping. I just love that. Um, he brings balance to us in all ways in our life, different ways. And so we call on Raphael, as I said, for healing and bringing balance into all aspects and areas of our life, correct? And the, the stone for Raphael is emerald, green kyanite, and green fluorite, which I love. Their musical note is A, and the special day that they have is Wednesday, right. which makes sense. It's kind of Wednesdays. What, what do we used to call Wednesday? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Remember Wednesday? Was I called totally the, forgot about that, R. It was the hump day. <laughs> oh, the hump day. It was right in the middle. Remember? We'd always say, as you're working, oh, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's I've been teaching this for how long? And that's the first time you just brought up an excellent point. It's right yeah. in the middle of the It's week. right in the middle of the seven days. So, yeah. Um, oh, you get the jelly bean for that one. Yay. Yay Arlene. She's so you honest. Can, you can send Sorry. me the, uh, the fluorite. <laughs> you, win the, you win the fluorite. So, here's, a, here's the fluorite. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then here's a stone that most people don't get to see because it's not that common. It's not like you could find this in a gem store. This is the green kyanite. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, greens <laughs> are fabulous. I could always tell a green, like, did you ever go to a conference, Arlene, and the projector breaks? Who's the first ones that run from the audience to try to fix it? It'd be John. <laughs> It'd be John. Uh, it's, that's how you could tell a green. Who goes to that... Who tries to fix the thing in there? Out of the way, fix things. <laughs> Get out of the way. We are doing that cooking show. That <laughs> just dawned on me. Oh, we did something. We were doing the a version blender, show. but it broke. We, were, we broke the blender. And no, it didn't break. It's it almost did. like he has it like fart. special hearing from like five floors away. And he it knows like fart. something's broken. Uh-oh. And I tried. I kept trying to push it back. And then he pushed me out of the he way. He comes in. Get out of the way. I'll fix that. <laughs> That's oh funny. my god, we have stories, guys. We we could have this show on for twenty years, and we would never get through them all. But all right, do you have anything <laughs> more to say about those amazing greens? I love it. I love Ralph. And John used to do my bookkeeping, and I would just hear him swearing. You'd hear all these <laughs> two in the morning. <laughs> That'd be out of balance by two thousand dollars or something. You say, "Oh, I just forgot to put that in there." I'm like, well, "Forget two thousand dollars." Yeah, he would. He would go nuts. <laughs> so, greens. Oh my god! But we need them. We need all these colors, guys, because every one of those is important. Without one of these, the world doesn't spin, right, Arlene? That's right. We need them all. We're all That's needed. What brings the balance when we all all these colors work together. It's pretty cool stuff. And stay till the end because I'll I'll share some other fun about all of this. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, so uh, yeah, what's the next yeah. color on the rainbow are is blue. Blue, 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 blue. blue. So, sing blue, can I sing blue velvet? 
And she wore there blue. She goes. There she goes. She's out for the <laughs> Wait, are we going to get into tap dance too? Hey, can everybody tell I was born on Barbara Streisand's birthday? <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, I know that Arlene always has a song for everything. What's that zippity doo dah? We should hear the birthdays. <laughs> We're going to get into chorus. As lady. I do with your husband. Mm. Boy, no. Interesting. Hey, what about the song and laughter? Yep. All right. So the blues are pretty cool. These are your born teachers. And Ratzale is the blue angel. Now, I had, don't ask me why I never painted a blue angel. So that's probably one of the only ones I've ever never painted, Arlene. I don't know why. Maybe you thought um, it'd bring you blue, make you blue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. <laughs> yeah, but Ratzel is a powerful you have to put blue, angel. blue velvet in it. <laughs> You're gonna start. You want, you want me to, like? I'll sit back. You want to sing? No, no. When you do the blue angel, you have to put, you have to make make his cloak with blue velvet. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the blues, I love the blues because they're just, they're full of wisdom and knowledge. Think of a teacher that you've had in high school or college. And when they taught, you stood up and you look, you, you listened. These are the born teachers <laughs> and that's what their gift is. They are the philosophers. If you're at a party, Arlene, they're the ones that would be philosophizing about Confucius and different uh, theories in life and they can make the most difficult teachings seem effortless all right uh there's stone this one i got this one in morocco arlene look is this cool or what yeah. this is azurite what is Most that stones when you find this in a gem shop it always has malachite in it which is the green. The green, yeah. But this particular vein that I found in Morocco is pure, meaning there's nothing else running through it. There's no veins running through it. And you know what another cool thing about this stone early? In? The ancient artists would grind this up and add it to resin, and that's how they made their brilliant blue paints. Yeah. Isn't that mind-blowing? Yeah. I mean, think about it. Michelangelo didn't go down to Hobby Lobby, did he? <laughs> they took stones and they'd crush them and add them to different resins from trees. That's why their paintings last a long, it's long time. Where our paintings will fade in a couple of years, right? I think they use herbs also. Things from that. Um, there are some herbs that had color to them, like um, they were to play along for that. Stenciling the way the pioneers did it when I lived in uh, Connecticut. And to get the green paint, they would use skunk cabbage. Boom. It stunk like hell, but it had this amazing green color to it. Stunk like so. Yeah, a lot of herbs. Um, I don't get me on that. We can do a whole show on that one. No. Okay, but so yeah. the trap side of a blue, they become all about themselves sometimes. Like, oh, don't listen to our, don't listen to Arlene or Joanne. They don't know what they're talking about. Only my theory is right. We've all met people like that. You know, they're the know-it-alls. So, yeah. Um, but we can't we, we can't live without them. Their angel is Ratziel. Uh, the stone, blue sapphire, blue aventurine, blue azurite, which I showed you. Uh, their, the note that they radiate is C, and their Thursday is their day of the week. Our next color in our color chart here is our purples, are the purples. The purples are said to be those who create with love. They must put love in whatever it is they create so that love radiates back to the world. It's all created from love. And this is why I say everything's about anyway. It's all about love. Purples are also spiritual teachers, which is different than a blues teaching. Purples tend to teach the spiritual aspect, the mystical side of things, rather than the book side, correct? The crap side of a purple, though, is that whatever is created for the sole purpose of making this cha-ching, then the creation will sour. Right. Um, if you were creating a corporation, though, you'd want a purple to design like your ads, your graphics, your art, your logos, etc. Right. 
Mm-hmm. So then the archangel for this this color purple is Heniel, is the archangel for um, the blue purple archetypes. And you could call on this angel when you want to create from love. Look how beautiful that is. You must put love into whatever it is for that love will radiate back to the world. This angel also reminds us to love ourselves as we can easily find fault with ourselves. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, most of us don't love ourselves. Just bring it down a little bit, Joanne. It's a little bit too high up, honey. Yep. Yep. There you go. So that's the top part. Gorgeous. Now their stone is amethyst and how do you pronounce this one? Benetot? Benetot? Benetoit? Ben- Benetoit. <laughs> Benetoit. Benetoit. It's very rare. And their um, day is Friday, and their musical note is E. E. So that's the purples. All about the notes. And there's your amethyst. We all know what amethyst is. I, we couldn't show you Benetoit, but it is a, it under lot. It's under a glass case in the museum in Chicago. Wow worth a fortune it's rarer than a diamond to give you an idea really i know yeah. you know i it's just right. learned something new because i haven't heard of that one yeah and their day is friday and f is there right all right arlene that leaves us just for e. one more and violets yes all right so the violet we have all the roses okay never mind <laughs> that's an old song I call, I call the violets the saints in life because they're always what can I do for you, Arlene? Oh, can I make you a sandwich? Oh my gosh, can I can I can I help you with your hair? Uh, can I come over and, and clean your your shop for you? Yes, they're in service. So those would be like nurses, secretaries, anybody who wants to. They're givers in life, givers, givers, givers. But their trap side is they give so much that they're they're exhausted, and then they get sick, and then there's just crumbs left on the plate, and then then what? They can't do anything. So they have to always give back the gift that they are to the world back to themselves. Take care of yourself. Go for those massages. Get, you know, go for that energy work. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Zadkiel is the angel. Um, Lavender Jade is the stone. They are all about mercy and compassion, Arlene. Uh, Charwhite. Oh, my God. They've got, yeah, Charwhite. Oh, look at this stone. Oh, gorgeous. Wow, that almost looks like the amethyst. I know. It's Doesn't very it? rare. It comes only from one river in Russia, the Char River. That's beautiful. That. So, yeah, their note that they radiate is B, and their day is Saturday. So, huh. They were, if we invited one to the party, Arlene, they'd be, can I get you your, can I get you your drink, Arlene? Yes, please. Are you cold? Here, here's a sweater. Here's a blanket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that us, Arlene? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I hope this was beneficial to you. And how are we doing on time? Um. You know, because we're always, we're always, Victor's always standing over us. We have a few more minutes, girly. All right. So one of the things with these colors, because it's a rainbow, you can leak into one of the colors on either side of you. So say if I was a purple, you know, the creative artist, if I'm tired and I'm on the road traveling a lot, I can easily slip into the violet zone. And all of a sudden I'm like, Arlene, can I get your coffee? Can I, can I? Can I give you a back massage? Can I do the, can I do? I become Nancy Nurse. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. <laughs> so, yeah, just know that you can slip into either one of those on either side of you. But when you're truly in your passion and you're in your, you're in your, the real lane you're supposed to be, everything, all the lights and buzzers go off. You're just, you're, you love what you do. So you could, yeah. Hey, Arlene, this has been. You could meld my, into other uh, other colors. I, I, you know, one thing I, I want to bring up too is, um, you know, I wonder how our colors relate, and we should investigate this on the yes. day you were born. 
if that oh i can i can give you my example because because that's a powerful thing like i believe mine was a monday and my archangel supposed to be gabriel okay a monday as far as what i learned you know as far as what i had heard but i'm wondering that resonates with our color coming in oh totally and i'll give you an example because i really resonate with a purple honeyl yeah because i'm that creative person i have to put love into everything i do if i just painted my pictures for the sole purpose of getting awards and ribbons yeah it would look like you know what so the day for purple is friday right early and guess what i got married on a friday uh huh. Both of my two boys were born on Friday. Huh. Yeah. There's something to this. And you know, as well as I, that everybody teaches something different about the angels. So it, I take that with a grain of salt. You know, it is what it is. Uh -huh. A lot of people think Gabriel has black hair. There's <laughs> only black. You know how that goes, Arlene. So anyway, and we all, hope, we brought, is, um, all of this is nothing's. How should we say nothing's written in stone? <laughs> exactly. There's always exactly, and but and just like anything else, Arlene, as wisdom comes down the pipeline from centuries, you know darn well things get a little altered. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. It's that simple. And we didn't even get into the biblical aspect of this because Arlene and I, you know, both agreed when we were doing this podcast we didn't want to get into religion and we didn't want to get into politics because those are the two things that divide the world and we are all about balance and we're about unity yes and helping you shine your beautiful self that's right not dividing right good for division right early correct so that's why we have so much fun because if we can help you in any way shape or form then it's all good right united we stand divided we fall and look at what's happening in the world right now. Oh, my God, this is so uh, important. We come here, you know, we're taking this time. <laughs> hey, folks, we're not getting <laughs> really a penny about this. So so let me add, please, please subscribe. Yes. You're added a beautiful subscribe button that you could see now. Uh, so Thank you, Victor. That was cool. And the other Love. thing we really want to hear from you people, you know, whatever comment you have to make, leave comments. Right. We're going. We want to grow this. Uh, we're going to be having live events where you people, you know, you could write in and we'll answer questions and things like that as we go along. Um, right. Please put in in your comments topics that you would like us to gather information on, or or speakers that you would like to hear from, and we'll try to contact them and bring them in. We have some marvelous speakers that are going to be coming on down the pike. Really, yeah. really great. Super exciting. Great great people that are coming on we are very excited about it wow. so um keep tuning in and the first wednesday of the month i do a healing prayer for the world we desperately need it and it's just That's to get the energy out there for everybody it's, it's for all it's about you you're important we're each right. important we're each sparks of that divine whatever you want to call it just remember that and as yeah. i always say Remember to do this <laughs> and be the beautiful beacons of light that you are to be the beacons of balance for this world. Exactly. Let it out there, shine it out there. I love you, Joanne. This was I love you so much, Arlene. This was great. People, thank you. Till the next time. Keep Shine shining. Shine that. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Take care. <laughs>